Hello, my name is Howard Vale, and i um, got a special guest who's going to talk about uh, podcasting and how it can help your, your business. So I'll bring him on after this. Right, it should be there. So it's my great pleasure. It's, it's very, very shy to introduce Kirk Pickstone from Dougie Stone Radio. Hi, Kirk. I'm an introvert, Howard. Good afternoon. <laughs> Good evening, uh, world, wherever you are. Yes. Yeah. How are yes. You? Welcome. How are you? I'm I'm good, mate. I'm good. I'm really good. Thanks for inviting me on your live stream. Going out on LinkedIn, Facebook, um, everywhere. Yeah. Pony. Yeah, but maybe LinkedIn. Whatever. Yeah. Well, good stuff. I'm still learning how to use it, but it's, it's all good because what I use on Whirly Gigs are videos, whereas you, Mr. Daddy Stone, use uh, audio, in particular podcasts. Um, yeah. So those are, well, actually, do you know what? What is what is a podcast? Is it just radio? Is it more than radio? Uh, no, it's more than radio. I think people get confused. Do you want me to introduce myself first? Or I'll tell you, yeah, I'm uh, Kirk Pastron from introduce, Dougie. Introduce yourself, Kirk. From, from Dougie Stone Radio. We're not just local people. We're freaking global. Um well, basically, the radio, to give you a bit of background, the radio station started on the back of podcasting. And a lot of people roll their eyes and go, oh, podcasting, podcasting, because they think it's some black art and what is it? But basically, if you listen to any music, MP3s, then that's basically what a podcast is. So a podcast is an audio file, and the name comes from, oh, uh, Eddie King saying hello. Hello, Eddie King. Um, the name comes from Apple because it started with Apple, so it's an Apple broadcast, um, and that's where the name came from. So it's a podcast on because it was on the iPod, so it's a podcast. So that's where the name comes from, comes from our good friends at Apple Podcasts. But basically, it's... If you listen to any audio books, you listen to uh, things online, then generally a lot of, they get grouped together as being podcasts. And then people confuse having the online radio station as being podcasts. And the online radio station is totally different. So what we do on the radio station is we we beam out to on the internet um, audio. So we either do live shows, recorded shows, or we take shows from other other people so we take currently take a show from milan we take one from kazakhstan we take one from uh canada and we take one from detroit which is a hip-hop show so oh. we do we have a combination we sort of the net if you think of netflix for radio that's what dougie stone radios and we promote emerging artists that's one yeah. of the things that we really do so we're not a genre station but a podcast is basically a recording that someone's produced um to inform educate or entertain now that deserves a proper intro kirk do you know that like this just for you <laughs> i'm back yeah that's uh, and that this man this man over here Howard did that for me. I had did yeah. my own jinglet on it, but Howard, yeah. Yeah. Howard did the whirly gig. That's what they are, whirly gigs. Intros whirly gig. and exits from your video. So I um, put them on to my YouTube videos sometimes as uh, an intro. Yeah. We, we, we discuss how you can repurpose audio and video ah, together. That's made, yeah. that made brilliant. Yeah, crack on, yeah. crack on. Right. So... The purpose is, is that you're a bit of an expert and you know how to use, because you, you seem to, you think that people or business are, are, are missing a trick here regarding regarding po podcasts. So <laughs> just going through yeah. some ideas how people can use pod. Well, first of all, how people can use podcasts. And then there's a the technical side of how to broadcast, isn't it? Because it's all very well, you, you know, having ideas for a business. It's actually getting yourself online. So just Give us some tips and guides how podcasting is up and coming and how it can be used for business. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, well, podcasting, uh, if you look at the UK in the last 12 months in uh, 2019, increased consumption of podcasting increased by 24%. There's some other stats out there. It's above 50 or 54% of all Americans listen to podcasts. Um, 
And I think people are missing a trick, and that's what we we teach someone on our course, and we'll talk about it later on. Um, missing a trick because connecting with people on by, by audio is brilliant because you can tell stories. People can listen while they're doing the gardening and they're doing their ironing. They can be in the car. They can be doing an activity where they can either read or look at a screen. So, you know, um, podcast normally, if you do about a 30 minute podcast, is a brilliant sort of 30 minutes to an hour, but 30 minutes is ideal because a lot of people, I'm coming back. I'm here. A lot of people, um, Commute is about 30 minutes, 30 minutes to an hour, so they can listen to a podcast on while they're going to work. Now, where businesses are missing out at the minute or why they should consider doing a podcast is it, some of the statistics and, and other demographics of people that tune into podcasts. They tend to be more affluent. They tend to um, engage more with a person when they've, when they've listened to them uh, on audio, and they tend to then – be quite loyal, and that leads on to people purchasing from uh, from someone else. Because it's all well and do good doing a video, it's all well and good doing a blog, but that connection with some between someone's voice, well, it can work two or one or two ways. You'll either be very boring, people switch off, or if you're passionate about what you're doing, you're engaging, then you've got more chance of people listening and then coming back to what you're doing. Yeah, um, it's, it's, sorry, Kirk, I was interrupting. Go right, on. Yeah. Turning down in a bit loud coming through on my my system here. Um, but what one tip for people: don't use it as a broadcasting tool. And it's a broadcasting tool, as in, oh, I do this, and that are wonderful. And because no one gives a rat's bottom what you do, what your business does. All people are interested is them. They want to be entertained, educated. Yeah. So it's same as social media. If you tr do a couple of posts, try putting a post on today on social media, which is of a daft meme of a cat or something, you'll get loads of interaction. You put something about how marvellous you are about your business, you'll have zero interaction, yeah? Yeah. The only people that get that massive interaction are people that are already established celebrities, stars, producers, or whatever. Then they will get reaction. If they if they put a picture of the thumbnail on, they'll get a thousand likes or something. Yeah. So when people are producing a podcast, what they need to think about is what is it that's engaging and what people are going to listen to. So why why are they going to tune into it? So don't make it about yourself. Yes, you can drop some stuff about yourself. It has to be almost subliminal selling because because consumers nowadays are very savvy about being sold to. No one likes to be sold to. No one likes clickbait. And they will switch off as soon as they think, oh, this is just a broadcast about how marvellous you are. Um, they'll just turn off. They'll just turn off. People are searching yeah. for stuff for them. Absolutely right. Because, you know, people don't care about, about you. You know, I could say I'm, I've, I am I create videos and world of gigs and I use HT and 30 frames per second. No one, no one, no one gives a damn because you're there to solve a problem. And, yeah. you know, you're, you're, you're the solution. And it's you know it's that expression you know with them what's in it for me? Um, yeah. and that, that's what that's what people need and and to and to to give value always always give some, something away um, because yeah. you do you do it every day because you do a business show on Dagger Stone Radio don't you? Yeah, I, did, I was doing about four business shows a week, but I've cut them down now. I do two, one on a uh, Tuesday, one on a Thursday, ten a.m. And then that's – it's a mix. See, that, is, that show, when I say business show, people might go, oh, business, don't want to tune in. But it's more of a current affairs, what's going on in the world, what's going on in business. I might do things about team dynamics or whatever. You know, it's a business-related. And the short snippets of information for people to go and think, ah, that's pricked me, con that's pricked me interest. I'll go and find some more out. Um, we do talk a bit about what's going on in the world of business, you know, um, Excuse me. One of the, the things last week was the obviously the big thing of the coronavirus and um, how that's impacting not just companies in China, but around the world. People are involved in, um, you know, Google have shut down offices and some of the airlines have has been affected. So things that can happen on the other side of the planet can affect you. So that's the sort of stuff I bring into the business show. And all those shows, every show on the station goes out as a, as a podcast, yeah, uh, with music on whatever the show is, so that people now what consume 
on on demand. People might not be watching this live. They might watch it later on when they get home. Not everybody. The the days of tuning into something at a particular time at a particular day have, is vastly gone. How many shows do you watch on TV when they they're live? Not many. Not many. Unless yeah. it's a, not unless it's a specific thing like I don't know Super Bowl or it's the FA Cup final or whatever. Um, or you know the strictly final, whatever you're into, then people, people don't tend to tune in. They tend to binge watch things, and that goes. To, that's the ethos of the station. That's why we've gone for the podcasting as well. So we have got the station. So if you're in your office during the day and you want to tune into the station and listen to something live, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. If you want to listen to a show when you're driving down to Plymouth on a Friday afternoon and you miss the business show on a Thursday, brilliant because you can. It's there. It's there. Brilliant. Excellent. Um, in case if you're watching us live, thank you very much for joining us. Um, or if you're watching on the replay, please comment below and share it because it is social media. We need to be able to be social. If yeah. I ask a couple of question, drop me in the comments whether it's live or uh, in the replay. Um, yeah. And as I said, if you're joining us live, I'm with Kurt Pickstone from Dagestan Radio, who's been telling people um, how the best way, thank you, <laughs> best way to use podcasts uh to to grow your business very mm. briefly just just go through the, the key points in, in how you can use podcasts for your business well what you can do and what i teach people when i do one-to-one -one or i do the courses is um you'll already have content out there so as an example howard you've you're beaming this out on various platforms there's a video we could take the audio off this and turn it into a podcast and reuse it. There's loads of people out there doing presentations and all sorts of things. Where so you, you can repurpose that in your, um, you know, you repurpose it as a podcast. But then what you can do, you can take your podcast and you can post it. You put it on your website, so you yeah. can have it on your website as a place for people to go. And what I've uh, a bit of a terminology that I've someone else might have done it, but hey, I, I'm I've I've started calling them pod blogs. Oh yeah. And you, you're going to, what's a pod blog? Well, I'll tell you what right. a pod blog is. Well, right. Take two. Take two. Kirk Pickstone, what is a pod blog? Oh, a po well, I'm glad you asked me that. A pod blog, which I've, um, someone else might have a, as a terminology, but I thought, well, you can take a podcast. Everyone knows what a pod blog is. Yeah, blog, uh, blog's written information, and a podcast is audio information. So you could have the same information in two formats, written, and in audio. So what I've started doing, or we started doing on the station, is we take the shows. So as an example, Eddie King. Eddie King does a show on a Monday night and a Tuesday night, which is on new music, emerging artists. Good afternoon, Brimo. Emerging artists. So what we, what I do with that then, instead of just people going and clicking onto his show, which is fine, I'm try we're trying to give them more value. So what we do is we take it off a platform that we host on, and this is another trip tip for you get your stuff on your site because you don't know how long google's facebook's going to be there linkedin's going to be there get your content on your site not on social media because they can switch off at a, a you know anytime so what we do yeah. is we take the uh, we take the audio file which goes onto a, a system called mixcloud where we can play uh, music then i put that onto our website as so it might be um uh, episode three of emerging artists now what we what we do the reason why i'm doing that and why i've turned it into more of a blog a pod blog is a lot of people might not want to listen to the show but we we think that show is brilliant to listen to but you might want to refresh your playlist on spotify or, or itunes so what we do with that we we drop the full show in so you can listen to eddie's show if you want uh if you've listened to the show you might think i really like that track i don't know who it was by so what we also do is we put uh, where we can, depending what where we, where we've got those, he's got you played the music from. We will create a Spotify playlist for that particular show. We will put that on the blog as well, and then we might put a bit of information. So I don't know, it might be the road show, or it might be. Um, so on the last one I did for Eddie last week, um, he played a track he'd just been released for Avicii, a tribute for Avicii. You know the the artist that unfortunately committed suicide, which is terrible because what a loss to. The planet that is um i actually put on there the video from uh the track that had been released as an uh, as the tribute and also they've done a tribute concert which is an hour and something like an hour and a half on youtube so i've actually put that on and i've also put some information from 
the, at the website about Avicii and things like that. So what I've done is taken an hour sh a content of show that Eddie's done, Eddie King, yeah, and turned it into something more. So you can listen to the show. You can find out what's on there. There's a bit of in more information about the show. So it's it's almost like you know a snippet, a snippet for people to come and see. So that's how we that's how we particularly use it. And you you can use that in your business. There's a lot of companies yeah. out there that actually use podcasts to train their staff. So they will have a podcast where they'll get a new employee start and they'll go ah. Listen to all these. This will tell you about sales. This tells you about processes. This tells you about our marketing thing. All the things you need to know about our, our, our company use podcasts. Yeah. So and it's, that, it's, and, and, you know, it's multifaceted. It is multifaceted. Yeah. Yeah. And you can use it more, more than once as well. But I, I just love it because, you know, with the podcast, it's easy to listen to in the car, in the living room, in the bath. And also just to reverse it, because I, I could turn this into, into a, um, a podcast, but um, you could also video your podcast and put that on YouTube as well. So you get you get double the audience. So you can, you can. And, and on some platforms, on some hosts, which is, I can't, I can't go into the detail now, but the host that I use for my main podcast, my Dougie Stone podcast, I can upload a video to my host and that will actually go out on itunes as a video what live or pre-recorded pre-recorded it's a podcast yeah so well, I you, could can, get... you can just do a pre you can just video yourself doing a podcast with a guest and then upload it to youtube or something yeah you can put it on youtube what i'm saying is you can actually get it onto itunes which is if people listen to if people tune into your podcast on itunes they can watch yeah. a video a video on itunes as well uh, right. or on or wherever, or Spotify, or whatever, wherever it sends it to, it should send the video as well. Yeah. Good. I say, if you're joining us live again, I'm joined by, by Kurt Pickstone from Zaggy Stone Radio, talking all about podcasts and how to grow your business. So drop a comment, ask a question if you're on the, if you're on the replay. Um, so what are you saying about um, iTunes? You know, it's, it's, it's great having all these ideas, growing your business, but how do you broadcast? I mean, where do you start? Oh, no. Well, it depends how much no. you want to give away for free, doesn't it? But where do you start? You can start with a with a with a you, you can, right. Let's take it back because all, also a lot of people see me in the studio. I've got microphones, I've got headphones, I've got I've got a mixer, I've got all sorts of stuff. You can basically start with a mobile. If you've got one of these, yeah, you can start podcasting, right? Start mm -hmm. podcasting on them. Dead easy. But one of the things, one of the main things that people have issues with um or don't realize is people can take poor video what the people don't take is poor audio so if this was all distorted now the video the video people would sort of see through that and carry on but if it was squeaking and peaking and people will turn off because they just can't stand bad audio so whatever you do make sure that you yes you can use one of these and you can use systems like and oh, a band i went to see the uh, weekend oh. chasing them, check them out um you can use things like Anchor. I don't particularly like Anchor, but I teach people a different way of using Anchor. Than Anchor is great. I, it is great if you want to do a Facebook Live type post where you're not bothered about the sound. You just want to do sound bites. Get it on Anchor, upload it. You know from your phone. Brilliant. People will take that because it's like Facebook Live. But if you're putting a, a, a proper podcast out, you want people to take serious, then edit it. Edit it, record it, and edit it. You can start off, right? I'll give you a little. We we actually do a microphone. So I'm not trying to sell anything here. But <laughs> actually, in the other room. But <laughs> you, you want some, if you wanted something like that, which is a Blue Yeti, great microphone, about 130 quid. We do some microphones that are uh, 60, 70, 70 quid, which are a bit smaller than this. You can, the ones the reason why we sell the ones we sell are because they plug into one of these as well as you as you think so you can take them around and use them on the go so not sales pitch but make sure if you're going to do anything record it do it record it with a microphone into your, as a bare minimum into your um computer because what we do when i do my courses we play an audio of uh, just using the phone you know like the, the earpieces you get or all, all the all the pods Recorded with that, recorded with a microphone, and recorded with a mixer, and you can tell the the, the difference in sound. Yeah. And if you but want if, people, to, if, that's, 
if that's too techy, um, is it okay to to pre-record a, um, a blog, um, a, sorry, a podcast to upload to your website? Is that just just as effective? That's the best way. That well, that is a podcast. You have to record it. You're not doing it live. You're not doing no. a live. You're not doing a live unless you're doing a radio show. That's totally different. Yeah. Yeah. But if you're doing a podcast, it is recorded. So. The, platforms like anchor are great but there's no you can't you can't edit in there so if you've done or uh, 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 done something you, it's in it's done it's like a facebook live it's not you've not edit you can't edit it no uh, there is a piece of software again we're not affiliates so this, we can mention it called reaper which is a pretty cool piece of software um yeah is that it is, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, there's loads of there's loads of stuff out there. If you've got, um, you can use things like um, Gary's Band on a Mac. You can use um, what is it? You can use Audacity. They're free software, so go and use them. But it's about how to use them as well. It's the, the thing. Yeah. There's, there's all there's loads of different there's loads of different uh, editing softwares you yeah. can use. But, but it, it's actually how to use them, which can be a which will scare a few people. Yeah. How, how you actually how oh. you actually do. But if people wanted to come to help, how, how can you help them? Well, they can, they can come one or two ways. If anyone can drop me a line, Kirk, Kirk yeah, K I R K, at Dougie Stone Radio, D U W G Y S T O N E radio.com, or uh, go to the website, drop us a message on there. So there's a message show tab on the website. And if you just message on that, you can you can get hold of me, uh, Kirk Pickstone. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so we do, we do a couple of things. We do, Class, we do classroom courses with people, so we'll take about five to ten people in a classroom. A lot of people want to do it remotely. We have an issue with that, not because we can't do it. That's the one. We have an issue with that because what I, I train one-to-one, -one and what we like to do is when people come to do the training, we like them to bring the computer, the microphone, the headphones, if they've got them, or at least the computer, because we can lend them microphones and stuff on the day, yeah. and we make sure their system is set up. So if it's done remotely, then you've got to try and link up with someone. So we don't just teach them, um, teach people where a lot of people teach like uh, marketing and they go do X, Y, and Z, and this is the this is the process. Brilliant. We actually make sure from a technical point of view, the computer set up, configured for them, the software's working, it's recording it right. So that we could do it remotely. We'll find that. We couldn't do that with 10 people remotely because yeah. they need to the computers. So that's why we prefer... Going forward, we will produce stuff online where it'll be people know what they're doing, and we'll be doing things to help them market the market themselves. Um, but we find that classroom or one to one is is ideal. And the other thing that we also do is into company. So if a company wants a few of their employees training up, then we can get them in a in a room in their building, and then we what we do with that. You see, same as when we do one to one, I can tailor the um, I can tailor the train. So the last guy that I trained, he he sent me a brief of what he wanted, or what you know. I we had a phone call, telephone call. What does he do? What does he do with his business? And then he sent me, I'd like to get X, Y, and Z before he even came. And I can you? Yeah, of course we can do all that. So when he came for the session one to one, yes, we went through the general what you need to do, where you need to host it, but specifically tailored what he what he doing to him so he wanted to learn x y and z what to repurpose some stuff what are his facebook lives being done into podcasts etc so that's what we did uh on the one-to-one -one, and that's what we can do in the, that's what we do in the classroom as well excellent well on the screen is some helpful information yeah that, and we're brilliant on, on the, i mean by the time people see this it might we might have done it but that's the yeah. first first one we're doing in bristol we've done some last year in the midlands and we decided to go down to bristol because um we've got studios all, all around the country and uh, mark brimson's down in bristol we're going to do one there in a in a shared working space one up uh one where one up networking business networking yeah. so the, you know where they, these one of these buildings where uh they share the space Share yeah. workplace. so we're going in there it's going to be good so that's our well, first one. we'll do more of them in bristol and we'll do some in the midlands yeah, for, for for transparency, me me and a, and and a, and a mutual friend of ours, John Daly, went on one of your um your your trial runs. Was it last year? Yeah. And as a good case study, because 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 John couldn't even turn on the, the radio. No, I always say you can't even use the can't even use a uh, mobile phone. And surprisingly, or surprisingly not, um, I've got him now doing three magnificent shows a week. Oh. 
Yeah. And I'm still blown away that he can produce them. I yeah. am. I'm, I'm blown away. And I, I trained him. And so I always use him as a, a barometer. If I can train John Daly to produce podcasts <laughs> and do three radio shows a week, I can train anybody. Anybody. Yeah. And it's a joy for me when I get someone who's a bit more technically minded because what it allows me to do then and it's what I've done with the last two people I've trained in the last few weeks is I've been able to give them more detail. I've been able to go further in with them because I've not got to – does that make sense? I've been able to take it a step further with them because they're technically minded. But that doesn't matter. Yeah. If you're not family minded, the aim of the course is, and the, what we do is, to teach you if you can't do anything from, by the time you leave, you can, you will be able to record, know where to host, know how to edit, know how to do everything. And I genuinely guarantee that if, if you can't, then there's something wrong with yeah. me. Because you okay. Be we're, we're running out of time. Um, are we running out of time? We are. 26 minutes. It's like, whoa. How um, long for? It's only half an hour. Could talk yeah, all I know. Yeah, well, what did yeah. you say to me before? It needs to be at least well, fifteen minutes. I know. Well. We've got twelve people live on LinkedIn, which is amazing. So I thank you. So keep them on. Keep them on. What do they want to know? Is there any questions? Can you see questions? Well, there? I, don't, I don't know. No, there's no questions. Uh, do, do me a favor. Can you just uh, pull up the website so people can see it? Well, I was going to. I was going to ask you a question before we go to the website. It was it's so difficult trying to get Dagestan Radio? Can you just tell us how difficult it is to get it on Alexa? It's dead easy. Honestly, if you've got one of these, and loads of people would have got these for Christmas, right, will not they? So they've got the uh, Amazon Echo Dot, yeah? yeah, or bigger one, or the Googly one. And it's on, I see, in fact, in fact, what do you have to do? If you, if you bear with me a second. No, no don't do a live demo, Kurt, because it's going to end in tears. <laughs> It won't end in tears. It probably will, actually, because I, I won't be able to get it now. But I, the, see, the thing is, I've got something here which is because we're, we're pretty we're pretty good in what we do. In what we do, we could produce all sorts of stuff. Um, uh, what was you asking me? How do we how do we tune in? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's it, it is. Uh, you're right. I shouldn't have done it live, should I? You you right. you you talk for a second while I just find something. I've got it on easy. I've got it for my show tonight. I've got a show all tonight. right live live. Right. Well, without 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 spoiler. Well, hang on. S spoiler alert! You just say Alexa, play internet radio. Say so. Is it the same with? Um, hang on, let's get you back, Kurt. Is that the same with Google Assist? Oh, Kurt's gone. Kirk, can you come back? Kirk, come back, Kirk. He's gone. Did I upset him? Did I upset him? Please come back, Kirk. I wonder where he's gone. Hang on, I'll message him. <laughs> Before that technical difficulty, I never let someone walk out on me like that's amazing. Um, yeah. Oh, hang on. Is he back? Up and then I was clicking on. I was clicking on something and it took the it took the stream off. Anyway, no to answer on. your question, dead easy because we've got a jingle for it. You just say Alexa, open internet radio, and it will play the station. If someone's what playing this now near an Alexa, it'll be it'll be already working. Yeah. Or if you've got a googly one, you just googly. say a Google googly one. Yeah, Google. You just say, okay, Google, play Dougie Stone Radio, and it plays. Well, so it's internet radio. It's internet radio on uh, Alexa, and it's Dougie Stone Radio on um, Google. Yeah, I know. I manage that. Just go on. Just go on to the. In fact, I'm going to share the screen, and I can show the people how difficult it is to click on Dougie Stone people Radio. Still, people still struggle with it. I don't. I don't know what we have to do, but they do. You so, do. They, they still struggle yeah. with it. Really do, and I don't know why. So that basically yep. is our landing page. Uh, that's our landing page. Kept it dead crisp and clear. And in the just above, just in where that big logo is, if people click in that little arrow which says play, yeah, it's a play arrow, isn't it? Like you have a thing there that will play the station. If you scroll down as well, Howard, yeah, um, or scroll up to the top, I should say back to the top, back to the header of the page. Um, you can't see because your logo's there. on the right hand side. It also says listen. 
but that's the easiest way is to is to click on that um, logo on the page and if if people are interested in other shows we have got a link on the top right which is podcast so you can um check the podcasted shows from there and if you scroll to the bottom it randomly puts some podcasts at the bottom of the page for people like this further down so them ones there now further up, up a little bit so you've got three shows basically it just was random funnily enough there's one there the third one along is the howard and johnny 21st century show with uh, oh, uh yes. yeah yeah i know it's that marvelous show marvelous <laughs> marvelous show it is yeah. so that's what we do on the station so we, we keep the player right at the top make it dead easy for people you land on there in fact on a lot of uh browsers it should auto play so as soon as you hit the landing page it'll start playing the station yeah. which is, could be good could be bad but at least it means if anyone lands on it, it should play it doesn't do it on a mobile because apple don't like that sort of automation so right. yeah that's what we do anyway but podcasting just to recap on it is a great way to to promote you and your business because you connect with someone on a one-to-one -one audio type basis um sell them don't try and sell them stuff trying to educate them trying to help people um and that's what my dougie stone podcast is it's about dyslexia adversity and business so it's not me trying to sell them a thing not try to sell them a thing on it never do never have done no kirk it's been a pleasure gonna say goodbye so hang around i'll talk to you afterwards um one more time with this and i'll see you later see you later my right. friend and don't yeah. forget Dougie Stone radio we're freaking global tune in people tune in i'm on at 6 p.m on a monday night in a new country show yes country bye see you later. <laughs> Bye. So that was Kurt Pickstone. Sorry it wasn't a bit chatty, but um, there's loads of information there, loads of good stuff to help you podcasting. Kurt can help you with some, you know, some, some training. Um, that's it. Thank you for joining me. Catch the replay. Please comment below and, and share it. And uh, hopefully I'll, well, hopefully I, I will see you next time. So it's for me. All the best. Speak to you later. Bye. <laughs>